Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here in the A10 uh, Warthog. Uh, we got some harms because there's some SA2s and SA5s over there. This mission is available for you guys to download if you want it. Uh, there's your A10 code if you want the 10% off. And when you download it, you're actually gonna, this mission, when you run it, you're gonna have the harms on the A10. I put that on there for you guys uh, so you can uh, mess around a little bit with the harms as well. Uh, I'm gonna come around here because I think we're gonna get launched at. Possibly. Yeah, there it is. We got a missile launch. Altitude. Staying super Altitude. low for now. All right, I'm going to come around and we're just going to lob one of these harms in the general direction of those SAMs. Look at that, you can see the missile launch. We'll come around, they're shooting at something else. There's some other guys up here, it looks like. Uh, okay, here we go, we're gonna point the nose and I'll shoot off a, a harm here. We'll defend. We'll let that first harm hit the target. I, I don't want to shoot both at the same time because then they'll go and hit the same thing and I don't want that. Uh, so I'm going to let the first harm hit the target. That'll shut down that radar emission site uh, and then I'll shoot the second one so it hits the other SAM. Theoretically, that's how that should work. Okay, so I think we got a hit on the last one. Yeah, I can see up, the new up. smoke plume coming up. We got another missile launch, look at that. That's an SA-5 if I've ever seen one. So we'll point the nose and we'll shoot the next harm at that guy. And Magnum, we'll defend. getting super low and I think they're these SAM sites are up. shooting at some hornets that are in the area pull up, pull up. and so their radar emission should stay on and the harm should find them and hit them there we go there's another launch right there and we got impact on that SA-5 Okay, there we go. So I think we're good to start climbing now. It's pretty wild to see the A-10 with harms. I know we already did a video with this one time, but uh, I'm absolutely loving it. I, I love the idea of an A-10 with harms. Uh, again, SAM sites like this should have already been knocked out long before an A-10 showed up on station, but it's interesting to think about uh, the A-10 in this kind of environment kind of operating like this and self-defending in a way um, As you can see we can we are increasing altitude here and we're not being spiked by anything There's obviously some short-range IR over there. So I don't want to get too close um, And there's a lot of friendlies down there And you can see all those waypoints. Those are all targets. We got to hit uh, But I got to take my time here and climb a little bit and uh, get some speed and altitude and we can kind of recon the area and see what we want to do. Let's look over there, see what we got going on over there. Uh, let's get the TGP looking over there. And somebody's crossing underneath me. Look at this. We got friendly the Hornet. Look at him. He's right there. He's climbing. Looks like they're going to deliver some bombs. Let's soften the place up for the friendlies. Uh, those are definitely the guys who were getting shot at by the uh, SAMs. 
the SA-5 and the SA-2s. Uh, we got a missile launch. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Short range IR. That Hornet is flaring. And... Oh, he got hit. Oh. Oh, they shot quite a few at him. Wow. He should have come in higher. <sighs> That's very upsetting, though. We did lose that Hornet. Alright, I'm gonna have to come back around. I'm not gonna do what he did. I don't want the same fate as that guy, but let's point the nose and see if we can get a... Uh... Let me see if I can find... There he is. It's SA-13 right there. Right there. And he's looking at me, actually. <laughs> he's looking right over here. Okay, let's see if we can shoot a Maverick at him. Got him. Okay, I'm actually not going to shoot at him. I think we're too close, and he's already spiking me, so I'm going to flare. Uh, I'm going to defend here. We'll come back around. You gotta play it safe sometimes, man. Here we go, coming around. Let me target that SA-13 one more time. There he is. Got him. Okay, we'll set him as a SPI, sensor point of interest. And then we'll pull up the MAVs. And we'll just start locking up targets here. We'll fire three MAVs. So rifle one, two, three. And that should absolutely light up that base. Okay, and we'll offset here to minimize closure in preparation for other SA-13s to shoot at me, because they probably will. Uh, impact of those Mavericks, that's perfect. And we did get shot at, so let's defend, flare, and pull out of here. Taking a decent amount of uh, small arms fire, too. And some of those rounds are definitely 20 and 50 cal from the ground, so... Okay, I have the other SA-13s here, because there were a bunch that shot at that Hornet. And look at this, we got two in the back of this base here. That guy right there. And so hopefully uh, once we thin out these uh, air defenses, it'll really open the door for us to be able to do some real damage here. Uh, but it's almost it's almost always the first thing you got to do is uh, clear out the air defenses, make it safe for yourself. Maverick sees them perfectly, and hold on, let me just make sure I'm pointed the right way. That looks good. Rifle. Oh, hold on, we lost track. Come on, give me track here. Wrong target. There we go. Perfect rifle. Okay, and then I'm going to follow in, uh, there we go, that Maverick just hit him, and we're going to follow that in with uh, a gun run. I'm going to make it quick here. We are taking some pretty Pull decent up. fire. Okay, we're going to break off, we'll break left here, because breaking right would put me over the rest of the ground objectives, and I would get lit up for sure. Pull up. Pull up. I, I still got nicked. <laughs> Something bit me. I already looked around for porta potties. There's no porta potties. 
that we can hit, you know. The enemy has learned to hide their porta potties. <laughs> all right, so you can see quite a lot of damage going on here. I think that's all the SA-13s all knocked out, so I'm basically uh, free to uh, ruin these guys at will. Find some good targets. Uh, maybe some tanks would be good. I think maybe right here we can find some tanks. Okay, I got one of these bases directly underneath me here, so I'm just going to do a quick gun run as we exit. It's a little risky, but I'm going to do it anyway. Pull up, pull up. Let's light up this whole area. Okay, let's get out of here. Give them some 30 mil. Yeah, pull up, pull up. Ah, we got nicked again. Okay, I'm going to come around, we're going to drop a 2,000 pound uh, JDAM, a GPU-31, on this tank I have designated here. Uh, we're going to use a CCRP, everything's lined up, and pickle. And this poor guy has no idea there's a 2,000 pound bomb about to drop on top of his head. No need to laze, it's a... JDAM GPS coordinate is what it's using. Assuming I did everything right. Oh, did I miss? No, I didn't. Somebody else dropped a bomb there too. That wasn't mine. The first one was not mine. those hornets. There's another one right there. I'll come around. Uh, I want to get these 2,000 pound bombs off me. So that's 4,000 pounds I'm getting off pretty quickly here. And we'll come around here. And target this. This looks like a T-72. Set that as a SPI. Sensor point of interest. Everything's lined up. And pickle. Wait for impact here. Come on. I hope that doesn't miss. Nice. Right on his head. When I was looking through the TGP there at that tank, I noticed there was, I think, another armored vehicle beside him, a, uh, a BMP of some kind. So I'm going to try to dive down on top of it and gun run it. I was going to drop a cluster munition there, but there's multiple friendlies in that area now, so we're just gonna gun run it. There we go. And we'll pull off. Pull up, pull up. Yeah, we got him. Good hit there. Look at that. It's so beautiful, the A-10 just peeling away and just the smoke in the distance. So many like guys getting absolutely destroyed over there. You see how much like support a small A-10 can provide. And we're taking a decent amount of fire here. The A-10's still fighting. Okay, we have uh, some aircraft on the ramp here. 
that I would love to gun run. Uh, if I can find the ramp. It should be around here somewhere. Up here. That's the runway. There it is. Ramp. Right there. Okay. Uh, there shouldn't be too many guys over there to shoot at me, so I'm gonna just gun run these guys. And I think we can get out of here. Uh, again, I've taken multiple rounds of small arms fire, but everything is still totally functional. I've not lost uh, any engines. Uh, oh, let me turn on the gun pack here. There we go. And uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, air brakes are good. Okay. Line this up. In range. Oh my god. All of these aircraft are done flying. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> Just killed like 45 aircraft on the ground. Altitude, <laughs> altitude. Alright. Oh my god, the carnage. I also noticed uh, two Sukhoi 25s right here. Hold on, let's get these guys. Line it up. Yeah, he's dead for sure. Pull up, pull up. And that guy's dead for sure. Altitude, oh, I got hit. Altitude. And they got hit a couple of times there. Pull up, pull up. I should be okay. Those guys are dead. Everything's dead. Whoa. That one was close. Alright, I've shot and dropped everything I had. We got some friendlies moving in. You saw that little X there. So friendlies are taking the base. I've done what I needed to do. Uh, lots of uh, AAA still coming off there. Uh, but actually when I got nicked down there, I lost one of my engines. Uh, the left engine, I can't get it above uh, about 60-ish, 60% RPM. So it does seem like it's still functional, but it's not all there. Uh, so that engine definitely got hit. So time to go home. All right, here we go. We got the airfield up ahead. And hopefully we can bring it in. I mean, that one and a half engines brought me back just fine. Uh, everything was, you know, decent. Also, because I dropped so much of the ordnance, it was uh, it was a nice, easy flight back home. Just shows you the resilience of the A-10, the damage this thing can take and put out, and still get the pilot home. You know, and also some harm capability doesn't hurt. You know, <laughs> this thing's awesome. Uh, we got gears down, and I might be a little short here, so I'm going to add a little bit of uh, throttle. We're going to feed it in just a little bit of throttle here and oh she did not like that oh yeah she did not like that I caused differential thrust there we'll pull the engine back out use rudders to get it back on back on the runway here nice and easy touchdown okay we're home <laughs>